This video is designed to help you start a car wash business. At the end of the video, you'll find a valuable gift. It's a car wash business plan that you can download and will lay down for you, step by step, everything you need to know to start a successful car wash business of your own. If you are new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. Car wash businesses come in many forms, including self service, automatic, full service, and franchises. Let's take a look at each. Self service. In this model, vehicle owners pay a small price to clean their cars themselves. The business simply provides access to cleaning equipment, such as high pressure water hoses, cleaning fluid, sponges, and even towels. Automated. Vehicles are pulled by a conveyor belt, or drive into a bay, and automatic equipment does the work. The type of clean can vary, and may include soft touch washes, or touchless. Full service car wash. These locations provide both exterior and interior cleaning services. The service may be automated, or a combination of automated exterior cleaning and self-service interior cleaning. Add-ons such as mat cleaning, vacuum, and detailing, may also be provided. Franchise. Buying into a franchise is a great way to get started, and provides the benefit of name brand recognition, marketing, and operational support. Each model has its pros and cons, in terms of price, labor costs, and efficiency. For instance, a self-service car wash is a lower cost option for you, as a business owner, but the margins may be lower, and the time to clean is longer. Automatic car washes, however, mean more volume, but higher labor and equipment costs. Startup costs. Depending on the type and size of car wash you wish to operate, getting started can require significant upfront investment. Purchasing or leasing a lot and building a car wash from scratch, can cost anywhere from $50,000 to millions of dollars. Ongoing expenses. Car washes are a high volume business, which consumes significant amounts of power, water, etc. Be sure to factor in the following ongoing expenses, which will vary by car wash model. Water. Detergents and chemicals. Supplies. Equipment maintenance. Utilities. Rent or mortgage. Inventory. Employee wages. Advertising and marketing. Many factors impact how profitable a car wash can be, including the type of car wash, how much you charge per vehicle, location, and recurring expenses. For example, California has more car washes than any other state in the U.S., and the highest number of sales. Yet, Washington, D.C., which has fewer car washes per capita, ranks first in the average sales per car wash. Setting prices. When pricing your services, there are many variables to consider. If your business is located in a high-income area, you can set your base price higher. But do your research. What do neighboring car washes charge? To determine cost per car, run your budget and calculate the precise costs involved in washing each vehicle. Be sure to revisit this number as labor, supply, and utility costs rise. Choosing a location. Once you know the type of car wash you want to run, you'll need to select a location that has the following characteristics. Ease of access. Make it easy for your customers to find you, and access your facility. Consider street position, how congested traffic gets, and whether there is an intersection nearby, that makes it hard for customers to enter your car wash. A highly traveled road. Look for locations that have a high volume of traffic, but at a steady speed of 40 miles per hour, so that drivers have time to see your business and decide to patronize it. Space. Find a location that has sufficient space for vehicles of all sizes, to enter and navigate your services including exterior wash and interior cleaning bays, without blocking the entrance or nearby roads. Location is everything, so you may want to pay a premium, to get your business noticed. Note, check zoning laws. Certain jurisdictions dictate that car washes are a single-use facility, meaning once the car wash is built, the land can't be used for any other purpose. Funding your business. Starting a car wash business involves a degree of upfront investment, and may require you to obtain financing. A business bank loan or SBA-backed loan, are common sources of small business financing. These funds can be used to procure equipment and other capital expenses. Your business will also need funds to accommodate ongoing and unexpected expenses, such as equipment maintenance and repair. A business line of credit is a potential option to cover these costs. This form of financing allows you to draw on funds only when you need them. Use your business plan to help increase your chances of securing funding. Include your budget, projected profit and losses, and financial projections. With these tools, you'll have a good sense of how much funding you need, and your plan to repay the loan. Marketing and Advertising 
Think about how you will get the word out about your car wash business. Here are some tips. Launch a website. Create a website that lists your services and is optimized for search engines. This will ensure your business ranks high when someone searches for a local car wash. Use key search words and phrases in your body copy, headers, and metadata. Finally, be sure your website is designed with desktop and mobile users in mind. Launch a social media and review site presence. Set up business pages and accounts on Facebook, Yelp, Google My Business, and Instagram. Regularly post updates, news, and specials. Get positive reviews. Online reviews can make or break a business. Think of ways to solicit reviews of your services from your customers. Monitor reviews on social media, and diplomatically respond to any unfair negative reviews. Network. Introduce your business to local businesses, such as auto repair shops and dealerships. Join your local chamber of commerce and other small business groups. Develop a loyalty program. Loyalty programs are a great way to keep customers coming back time and again. Create a reward program that offers customers a free car wash or add-on service, after a certain number of visits. The next part of the video is not specific to a car wash business. Nevertheless, this knowledge is essential for success in the car wash business, as well as in any other business. Ignore it at your own peril. Operating a successful car wash business will depend on the following four conventions. 1. A practical plan, with a solid foundation. 2. Dedication, and willingness to sacrifice, to reach your goal. 3. Technical skills. 4. Basic knowledge of management, finance, record keeping and market analysis. As a new owner, you will need to master these skills, and techniques, if your business is to be successful. Finding a niche. Small businesses range in size from a manufacturer, with many employees, and millions of dollars in equipment, to the lone window washer, with a bucket and a sponge. Obviously, the knowledge and skills, required for these two extremes, are far apart, but for success they have one thing in common. Each has found a business niche, and is filling it. The most critical problems you will face, in your early planning, will be to find your niche, and determine the feasibility of your idea. Get into the right business at the right time, is very good advice, but following that advice, may be difficult. Many entrepreneurs plunge into a business venture, so blinded by the dream, that they fail to thoroughly evaluate its potential. Is your business idea feasible? Before you invest time, effort, and money, the following exercise will help you separate sound ideas, from those bearing a high potential for failure. Identify and briefly describe, the business you plan to start. Identify the product or service, you plan to sell. Answering yes, to any of the following three questions, means you are on the right track. A negative answer, to all of them, means the road ahead could be rough. 1. Does your product or service, satisfy an unfilled need? 2. Will your product or service, serve an existing market, in which demand exceeds supply? 3. Will your product or service be competitive, based on its quality, selection, price, or location? Market Analysis For a small business to be successful, the owner must know the market. To learn the market, you must analyze it, a process that takes time and effort. You don't have to be a trained statistician, to analyze the marketplace, nor does the analysis have to be costly. Analyzing the market is a way to gather facts, about potential customers, and to determine the demand for your product or service. The more information you gather, the greater your chances of capturing a segment of the market. Know the market before investing your time and money, in any business venture. The following questions, will help you collect the information necessary to analyze your market, and determine if your product or service will sell. This brief exercise will give you a good idea, of the kind of market planning you need to do. An answer of no, to any of the questions, indicates a weakness in your plan, so do your research, until you can answer each question with a yes. 1. Do you know who your customers will be? 2. Do you understand their needs and desires? 3. Do you know where they live? 4. Will you be offering the kind of products or services, that they will buy? 5. Will your prices be competitive, in quality and value? 6. Will your promotional program be effective? 7. Do you understand how your business compares with your competitors? 8. Will your business be conveniently located, for the people you plan to serve? 9. Will there be adequate parking facilities, for the people you plan to serve? Planning your startup. The following questions are grouped according to function, they are designed to help you prepare for opening day. Merchandise. 
Have you decided what items you will sell or produce, or what services you will provide? Have you made a merchandise plan, based upon estimated sales, to determine the amount of inventory you will need to control purchases? Have you found reliable suppliers, who will assist you in the startup? Have you compared the prices, quality, and credit terms, of suppliers? Business records. Are you prepared to maintain complete records, of sales, income and expenses, accounts payable, and receivables? Have you determined how to handle payroll records, tax reports, and payments? Do you know what financial reports, should be prepared, and how to prepare them? Finances. A large number of small businesses, fail each year. There are a number of reasons for these failures, but one of the main reasons is insufficient funds. Too many entrepreneurs, try to start and operate a business, without sufficient capital, money. To avoid this dilemma, you can review your situation by analyzing the following three questions. 1. How much money do you have? 2. How much money will you need to start your business? 3. How much money will you need to stay in business? In order to answer the second question, how much money will you need to start your business? You need to prepare an estimate of all your startup costs. Here is a list of items, you may need to take into account. Note that this list is for a retail business. Items will vary for service, construction, manufacturing or online firms. Decorating and remodeling, fixtures and equipment, installing fixtures and equipment, services and supplies, beginning inventory cost, legal, professional fees, licenses and permits, telephone utility deposits, insurance, signs, advertising for opening, unanticipated expenses. Now, the answer to the third question, how much money will you need to stay in business? Must be divided into two parts, immediate costs, and future costs. From the moment the door to your new business opens, a certain amount of income may come in. However, this income should not be projected in your operating expenses. You will need enough money available, to cover costs for at least the first three months of operation. The following list will help you project your operating expenses, on a monthly basis. Typical expenses for one month may include, your living costs, employee wages, rent, advertising, supplies, utilities, insurance, taxes, maintenance, delivery, transportation, miscellaneous. Now sum up the total estimated monthly expenses, and multiply it by 3, this is the amount of cash you will need, to cover operating expenses for 3 months. Deposit this amount in a savings account, before opening your business, use it only for those purposes listed in the above list, because this money will ensure that you will be able to continue in business during the crucial early stages. By adding the total startup costs, to the total expenses for 3 months, you can learn what the estimated costs will be to start and operate your business for 3 months. By subtracting the totals of the lists from the cash available, you can determine the amount of additional financing you may need, if any. Now you will need to estimate your operating expenses for the first year after startup. The first step in determining your annual expenses, is to estimate your sales volume, month by month. Next, determine the cost of sales. You may want to use a spreadsheet to do this. After startup, the primary source of revenue in your business, will be from sales, but your sales will vary from month to month, because of seasonal patterns, and other factors. It is important to determine if your monthly sales will produce enough income to pay each month's bills. An estimated cash flow projection, will show if the monthly cash balance, is going to be subject to such factors as the following, failure to recognize seasonal trends, excessive cash taken from the business, for living expenses, too rapid expansion, and slow collection of accounts, if credit is extended to customers. Conclusion. If you have carefully answered all the questions in this video, you have seriously thought about your goal. However, there may be some things you may feel you need to know more about. Owning and running a car wash business, is a continuous learning process. Research your idea, and do as much as you can, yourself. But don't hesitate to seek help from people who can tell you what you need to know. As we conclude this video, it's time you get your free car wash business plan gift. Go to the description below this video, to get it now. It is completely free, no strings attached. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please, like, and hit the subscribe button, for more videos like this.